All right, everyone, today we're checking out the new DeWalt EV charger. This is model number DXPA EV040. So stick around, we'll go through the unboxing, the setup, and we'll give you a full overview of the product. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. All right, right off the bat, it looks like we have our, we have a quick start guide, our instructions, our appropriate mounting hardware, and some tools. Next up, we have the main unit. Looks like it comes out as one whole piece. Let's see if I can get this all out here. All right, so we have the main unit, the 25 feet of cable attached with the connector here at the end. So that's all one piece. And then your 240 volt plug. We have our mounting bracket. And that is it. So that concludes the unboxing portion of this. All right, so the first step in our installation process is to go ahead and mount the mounting bracket. You're gonna mount it on the four corner holes if you're going into studs and drywall. So in our case, we have a stud running down right here. So we'll go ahead and mark that. So I got one here, one there. Now normally I would use a level, but I just did this earlier because I missed the stud. But we'll go ahead and mark these holes. And then go ahead and get the four screws installed. All right, and once you have your bracket installed, we'll go ahead and mount the main unit. So in one of the bag of goodies, we have a set screw that you'll need and also comes with the appropriate little wrench and that's gonna go on the bottom of the unit. So go ahead and take your main unit. It'll sit on this bracket here. That's where the set screw is gonna come here from the bottom, but there is two little hooks up here where the top will hook onto. So we'll drop it in. All right, so once it's in place, then we just go underneath and put in that set screw. Okay, so the next step is to plug in our unit. In our case, we have a NEMA L620. So we are limited by the plug since we did not have a chance to upgrade our electrical just yet. We went ahead and picked up an adapter off of Amazon. You can find these for about 20, 25 bucks, depending on what adapter you actually need. So the thing is though, it will limit you as to how much output you can do. So the plug is limited to 20 amps. So per the safety instructions, we are limited to a 16 amp output. And I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to set that up here with a unit, but let's go ahead and plug it in so we can keep going with the process. Okay, and once you plug in your unit, you'll see your LCD screen on the front light up, telling you that it is ready to go. It will display all of your pertinent information. We have um, our output current, our status indicator, there should be a little Wi-Fi symbol here, which we haven't set up yet, which we'll do here in a second. And then your usage information is here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and set up the app so we can go deeper into the setup. As far as setting up the app, it's pretty straightforward with the quick setup guide. So depending if you have an Apple or Android, just follow that and that will get you through the basic setup. And once you're done with the setup, you'll come to this first screen, which is your almost done screen. Just make sure you go ahead and set the appropriate amperage before continuing. Once that's done, you'll find your main screen here for the app. You have your power button up top, which will turn on and off the unit. We do have the schedules option here, which will allow you to set schedules depending on what you want. So if you want to run the system only overnight, if you take advantage of the reduced um, charging prices that we have overnight, you can go ahead and do that from this screen. 
You have your settings, which allows you to change the amperage again. We also have sharing options, which allows you to share it with other people in your house. And then you can always check for any updates there. We also have our charging history, which shows you every single time the unit has run and charged the car. And then we have the energy monitor, which gives you a breakdown of your usage, as well as an average cost per kilowatt hour in a nice graph form. So that pretty much covers the app. It's very simple and intuitive, but it does make using the unit a lot easier if you want to get more in depth with it. And as I mentioned earlier, we are limited to the 16 amp output just due to the fact that we haven't upgraded the outlet. So in the app, as you saw when I set it up, I went ahead and set it to a 16 amp output. So that's showing properly. We have the unit connected through Wi-Fi to the app. We are ready because we haven't plugged it in yet. And then we have our information on the charging status. So let's go in the car, double check the settings there. We'll plug it in and we'll show you what it does. Okay, and the next step is just to go ahead and plug in the unit. And once you plug in your unit, it'll switch over to charging and then all your pertinent information is displayed on the screen. So we have the limited 16 amps and we still are at 245 volts output. And then we have our charging times here. So we've been plugged in for one minute. So let's go ahead and check in the car to see what is showing on that end. And then we'll come back to check on the progress here. Okay, here we are inside of the car and we've left it at our standard 30 amp draw that we normally use for charging. Then to show you how well the unit protects itself, so here we see that the car normally pulls at 30 amps. However, the car is only receiving the 16 amps, which is once again limited by the DeWalt unit. So depending on what you set the unit at is exactly what it will output, and then your car should process that information accordingly. So unfortunately, at the lower end, we're only getting about 9 miles per hour, but that's still significantly better than plugging it into your regular standard outlet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave the unit plugged in, let it do its thing, and we'll check back here in a little bit. And then kind of just coming back and checking in on the unit, as you can see, we've been running it for 41 minutes and we've used up 2.4 kilowatt hours. So quite a bit of just basic information displayed on the screen for you guys. Okay, so here we are in the car. We're checking back here. It's about 45 minutes later. Everything is still nice and steady. We're still showing the 15 amps and the nine miles per hour charge. And then over the course of the 45 minutes, we've bumped up 5%. So overall, it's making steady progress. So let's check back here in a little bit when it's done charging. Okay, so the car is showing its charging status is done. We'll go ahead and look at the main unit. And as you can see, we have charging complete on the main LCD screen. So then once you're done charging, just go ahead and plug your unit back in to get the cable out of the way and you're good to go. As far as the cable length goes, I will recommend that the outlet is either placed to the left or the right or underneath the unit. In our case, we lucked out with placing the unit underneath the outlet because we have that little extension adapter going on, but the main cable is rather short. So I did want to give you mention of that. And then as for the 25 foot cable for the car, it is pretty generous. We can reach the far corner of the car without any issues. If you have a double garage, you should be able to reach either the left or right port of your car. And then as you saw, we have the port, we have the, the main unit over here in the middle and it does allow it to reach the far right corner of the car. So overall, very pleased with the length of the cable and 25 feet should be pretty for most modern garages. So to sum it all up, I'm very pleased with the unit. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, it's very user friendly. You know, obviously given the limitation of our outlet, we only were able to triple our charging speed, but triple is better than nothing. I'm looking forward to upgrading our electrical work to get the full 40 amps out of the unit, but overall very pleased. As always, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you around for the next one.